I'm Fred McClymans, and on this edition of Perspectives, I'm talking big data with Julie Hunt. Julie's a good friend of mine who lives inside the world of software technology, data, and analytics, with a unique perspective on how these impact our daily lives. We've all heard about big data. In fact, it's hard to avoid it. It's now become part of our business lexicon in everything from sales and marketing to how to win in politics. It's everywhere. But what does that really mean? Julie, welcome to Perspectives. Great to be here, Fred. I always love chatting with you. Likewise. Always, always a pleasure. I'm always curious about the why, and since this is Perspectives, I've got to ask you why. Um, how did you form your perspective on, uh, on big data? Well, there's, there's probably two reasons that I find big data interesting. Part of it is because I have a long time background in data management, and we, of course, worked a great deal with relational data, but came across many formats that were complex or even the worst kind of a format to work with, which would be content, where it's very difficult to mine the text and then try to retain the context or sentiment of that text that you're mining. Uh, we come along into current times and very interesting sources of data have popped up and unfortunately they've all been pulled into a, a title like big data. Uh, there are segments of data that are large volumes of say relational data that could qualify as big data, but I really like the Gartner definition which is extreme information. And the real idea behind big data, these are the hard kinds of information and data to get at, to be able to pull out something valuable and meaningful. And uh, social media in particular has uh, brought in some very interesting contextually related types of information that's quite valuable to businesses. Um, other kinds of data that are proliferating are come from uh, sensors, automated ways of both producing and using data. So it's an exciting area, but the biggest problem is not only figuring out how to process it, but what are you going to do with it? Do you really even need your big data? Let's step back for a second and kind of look at just big data and, and what it is. We've always had big data around us, correct? We just never really had access to it before. What changed a lot of things for actually big data growing is our improvements in technology, our storage of data, our ability for an organization to store huge amounts of data that they can wait on uh, being able to process. They don't have to deal with it in real time. They can store it and use it later. So a lot of organizations have done that. And now they're like scratching their heads and saying, what are we going to do with this? Other things have happened like people like GE who have been very innovative in realizing that machine generated data is quite valuable and it's not just valuable for the operations that that data is, is helping to perform, but what else do you do with it? What does it tell you about your business? What does it tell you about the future? So we've had some great innovative thinking around what do we do with all this data? and not just think of it as transactional data or something to store for a while and, and then archive and do away with. That data can continue to have value over time and data sources combined with other data sources might reveal some very surprising and, and very useful things. Go back 100 years ago, what would have been the equivalent of big data back then? Is there anything that we can look back to and go, you know, here, yeah, today we know everything. We have sensors embedded in everything around us. We monitor our credit card transactions. Um, you know, our cars have sensors in there. Um, but at the same time, 100 years ago, we didn't have that. But we still had data around us. We did, but I think this is why we're hearing uh, different writers and thinkers in this area call this uh, a revolution or uh, a new direction where we have the Internet of Things or the uh, uh, industrial Internet, that this is a, a re the biggest revolution since the industrial age, that things have changed totally. So I'm not sure we have anything on par with this data economy. Uh, it, and again, it's the idea of being able to store it process it, and then have the tools to do something with it. We've never had this kind of problem to solve before. So why is perspective important to big data, to both understanding it, to using it, and maybe feeling comfortable with it? Well, the data alone doesn't really have any value. It's just data. It's what do you want to do with it? Uh, some people approach using big data, no matter what the source is, uh, to answer questions. They have questions they want to know about 
what are their customer behaviors might be, or what direction should they take product development? Um, how should they be innovating their own business model? I mean, there are some very interesting applications, but that's the point. Uh, it's the application, not the data. Also, with big data, it's just one data source. So, you know, the idea of mashups permeates all of this. The idea of bringing in many different kinds of data, uh, recombining it, having different analytical models, different data models to be able to process all the data. But you need to have a purpose. Are you trying to solve problems? Do you have questions to answer? Or we can go to the types of activities that a company like eBay uh, takes on where they want the data to tell them something. So they have analytical models to look at the patterns of the data itself and do a lot of experimentation to see if it's going to open up new avenues of innovation. In the final piece, you still need people. You need people to understand, does this have any value for our business or our goals? Do we have any reason to consider this and the other ways that we are making decisions, taking actions, looking at the future of our company? So big data is not the end all and be all. It's not the final answer. It's a piece of the many things that most organizations need to do to stay competitive and really move forward with real information about things that will help them make really good decisions.